Hi guys, this is Mike again from Justitech and in this um, lesson I'll be taking you through how to use the count point in polygon tool in QGI. So let's assume the situation where you have a, a polygon and the point um, vector data in your QGIs and this polygon is showing counties in USA whereas the um, points are showing schools in the same um, in the US too and then you want to answer one question and that question is how many schools fall within each of those counties? So in TGIS, the count point polygon team actually help you to um, find answer to this question. So just please stay tuned to the end of this video and watch I'm going to do it. The Lagos State um, data, that's the polygon and the point um, data. So the polygon is actually showing the boundary of Lagos State and then um, including um, the 20 local governments. And also, like I said, we have um, the point data which is um, co which is covering um, schools in um, Lagos State. Now, there there might be situations that you might want to know like how many schools fall within each of these local governments so and in KJS you actually have a, a tool that can help you do that instead of counting them manually or trying to extract them <coughs> or trying to extract each um, polygon then um, clipping the points by polygon so there's actually a tool that can uh, actually count those um, points for you um, covering a particular area so that's what we are going to try and do now so <clears throat> for you to use that so you just need to go to your vector your vector bar menu bar and then from there you go to um, analysis tools so from analysis you navigate to count point in polygon this is it where my mouse is um, moving on so you select that so in this um, window that pops up so we need to specify the polygon that you want to use to count the points from which point from then again you, you specify the points vector that you are interested in so here in our map interface we already have these groups so then you can assign weights and if you look at this window here you said that it is optional so meaning that if you are to assign a weight to, it, to each point, what that means is that um, it count, the count generated will be the sum of the weights field for each point contained by the polygon. So it is optional. And also if you assign class to, so a unique class field can be specified, can be specified. and if set, Points are classified based on the selection attribute. I know several points with the same attribute value within the polygon. All one of them is counted. So the final count of the points in a polygon is there for the count of different classes that are found in it. And it's uh, important to note this. So if you actually specify both the weight field and the class field, the weight field will take precedence over the class field. So the class field will be ignored. So these are all optional. The most important thing you need to do here is to specify your polygon and also specify your point data. So here let me specify our polygon which is the um, Lagos boundary. Then uh, our point is the school. Then uh, on here you have a, a new fit created for you in the in the attribute table of the schools. So it's going to actually create a new vector layer. So in that vector layer, it's going to create a table showing the number of schools you can find within each local government. So then you can you can come here to create a save that into a new vector layer set that to new file. But uh, we're not actually interested in that. For printing purpose, we just want to try and run this. Let's see what it's going to give us. So let me click on run. Okay, if you look at the layer panel now you have a, a polygon called count so um this icon is saying this is a temporary file so if you actually 
made it you need to save it to a new vector layer this one is trying to say um this one is talking about the CROS that's the coding reference system but since we are not interested in that we just want to see the result we are going to get from this tool so you can just right click and open attributes table so you can see you have the same data as the local government the only thing that is different here is that a new field is created called num point so if you are going to specify that to put out the number of points so now you can see that for each local government you have the number of schools in each of them and and if you notice the alumni of the local government has the most number of schools in the state followed by the code so in this way you might you might be necessary for you to get this information for some kind of analysis so guys that's how we can see that that is very very important so um that is where we are going to stop see you guys later so thank you guys for staying to the end of this video where i bet you learned one of the things from the lesson please subscribe to our youtube channel and put on the notification button and watch out for more educated videos See you guys next time.